Good morning, this is my review of my 2018 Trek 920 All Adventure bike in Battleship Blue. I bought it in 2019, brand new in January, and so just a little over a year now that I've had it. I've ridden it about 2,000 miles and I've loved the bike. It has a phenomenal geometry, it tracks so smoothly and it rolls really well. It puts you in a very good body position. And yet I didn't have, it's a little more upright, I didn't have much trouble with aerodynamics. I rode it this past summer, uh, about 550 miles on the bike across Kansas, a multi-day ride. Rode it with the racks on and did really well. One of the things I love about it is the lower um, gearing that it has. It has a SRAM system, uh, really reliable. The cogs and the, and the gears are in great shape still after 2,000 miles of riding. Um, it's worked smoothly for me and believe it or not there are some really serious hills in parts of Kansas and where other people on gravel bikes and road bikes had to get off and walk up the hills there was always a gear low enough. We'll see about the mountain passes this summer. I'm a big guy at about 270 pounds and so two, uh, six foot two it, uh, it has uh, been good for me to be able to get up and down big hills. Um, another thing that I've really liked about it are the disc brakes. They are hydraulic. They're the the oop, lost the name. The TRPs, which are an outstanding brand. One of the things that I wouldn't mind is having the integrated shifter. This particular year, they were still on the uh, bar ends. The truth of the matter is, the claim is that you're much safer with them on the bar ends. I think they're out there and a little more prone to damage. The newer versions have the integrated shifters. The downside is if you have a wreck with the integrated shifter, you damage both the brakes and your shifting capacity. The bike is absolutely replete with brazons and points for attaching water bottle cages, and it comes stock, well, not with the dirt that you see on it, I didn't bother washing the poor thing, but it comes stock with racks on both ends. I went ahead and added the Bond Traeger um, mud guards uh, and fenders. And they have been really, really solid for me. They've held up well and they've done a great job. Again, I've ridden quite a few days in the rain with it and it makes all the difference in the world not having that rain beating up and down on you. I will be honest with you, I do some commuting riding with it and so I added a whole lot of reflectivity. I'm also a huge fan of these Saigo Light uh, Hotshot Pros and so I added one on the back. You can buy a, a bracket to add to it. Um, a little bungee cord action going there. I was not a fan of the original seat. I found it to be super uncomfortable. And so I went ahead and added a Brooks saddle uh, with the cutout in it. And that has been good for me. Although I got a particularly tough cow and it took quite a while for mine to break in. But I've been very happy with it. Um, the, the geometry on the, on the actual hoods has been good for me as well. And very adjustable. So that's worked well. The bike's been strong and smooth. Um, the water bottle cages, I went ahead and ordered myself a salsa so that I could do a side entry for this top part, run a full-size water bottle. I can run a full-size water bottle here. Uh, and then on this one, I run a short bottle. You can slide in a full one on the side there if you'd like to. It has brazings underneath, so you can carry on yet another water bottle down there. I'll take a bladder with me, and I also like to use a camelback. Um, to carry the bike along. One of the downsides for me was on the front rack, you have a situation where if you want to mount your panniers low on this bar, there's way too much play for them to run around. I went ahead and took a piece of, of rubber booting, wrapped it, and then put ties on it, and that solved that problem for me. So I'm down pretty low. Uh, it would be nice if they settled back a little further but what it does give you then is this additional cargo space up above. And my wife and I did an overnight on one of the local rail trails with a large group, and I was able to carry all of her gear and my gear. The back rack has a secondary bar on it. So you can put your panniers on this bar, and they sit much lower. It gives you this elevation of at least three and a half inches right here so that then you can put gear up here and your panniers don't interfere with them as much. I think it gives you a lot of flexibility. And it's nice that it comes with the racks on it. Um, I think that's a huge feature. The wheels are 28 spoke, and this is the original front duster that I have on it. I do not have the original tires. The, the tires that came with it were much wider and more of a mountain bike style. My bike shop was willing to swap me out immediately. So I never rolled on those. I got these H2 735s. 
I've had great luck with them. This one, I just recently moved to the front. It had been sitting on the back, so it's gotten a whole lot more wear. It's still got a lot of life in it. At over 2,000 miles, I have not had a single flat with these tires. I think they're great tires. That said, I have had trouble with the rims. Again, this is the original, but this back one had to be warrantied out by Trek. Uh, they sent me this guy. It pulled through at about 1,500 miles. I had two different spokes at the same point pull through and crack up to the third spoke. It didn't fail on me as I was rolling in the sense that it let me down or I wrecked, but it was a, a not a happy situation. I've read of other people having similar problems. So Trek warrantied this. I've just now put it back on and I'll use it for my training rides. What I have instead for the actual trip this summer I'm planning is a set of velocity wheels. I went ahead and got velocity chuckers, which are supposed to be super strong, and I'm gonna run all motion marathon tires on them this summer. Uh, I've had those on the, the rims themselves for about 300 miles of riding just to make sure I was gonna like them. They've done me really well. I did go ahead and buy another cassette so I can swap this out. And part of my plan is that uh, I'll run this size tire on here, a 38 millimeter is what these are, and that's about the, that's about the extent of what you can run with these all motions uh, on the chuckers. Uh, but the Duster Elites will let me run a much wider tire, so I think I'll get a set of gravel tires to run those for trail riding later this summer. Um, so, like I said, it's been a super solid bike for me. I would highly recommend it. It's been fast, especially for as big a bike as it is, and with all the gear hanging off of it. I'm hopeful that this summer will go super well, and I'll give you an update then. Uh, but after 2,000 miles, it's been a very good machine. Uh, I would recommend you at least go test ride one at your local bike shop if you can find one. Thanks a lot. Bye.